I thought I was going to kill people for a living. Instead, I ended up filming videos and writing things in my underwear. And somehow, doing this weird career of writing stuff in my underwear and filming, first off, I may be in my underwear right now. Who knows? Maybe you'll find out at the end of this video. Uh, but I really have learned a lot of weird things and I've sold over a hundred million dollars worth of products and services and I've taken everything I've learned and I've condensed it down into this book. It's called Confessions of a Persuasion Hitman. I wrote it. That's me on the cover with slightly longer hair blowing in the wind. Uh, the back is the back of my head and it also gives you a little description of this whole idea of what a persuasion hitman is. Now, the rules that I have outlined in this book, not outlined, but fully written about in this book, are the same things that I teach at my $3,000 persuasion workshops. It's the same stuff that I put into my $1,000 products. Uh, but I want to give you this book for free today, right now. Um, when you keep watching this video, you'll see you can put in your info somewhere here to reserve your copy of the book. I've ordered 2,500 of them in the first run. When they're gone, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably order more, uh, but I don't know for sure. Now, when I say it's free, you are going to have to pay the shipping and handling, but I'm not going to inflate the price on that. You're literally going to pay what I pay to get you the book. That's it. So I've outlined all of the stuff I've learned from over a hundred million dollars worth of sales and you get it for free. That's a pretty solid deal. Now, if you're wondering what's in this book, well, there are 13 rules, 13 rules that I have fully deconstructed and laid out for you. Some of them are based around stories. Some of them are rather entertaining. Some of them are more just hard facts. Here's what you do at the start of a sales letter. Here's what you do at the end of a phone call. Here's how to learn how to sell really high ticket stuff. Here's how to sell you know, physical products. I've sold physical products. I've sold information products. I've sold services. I've sold self-development, survival, credit repair, uh, water filters, I've drank out of toilets on camera, I have uh, ridden on unicorns, not, uh, not real unicorns, but unicorn inflated pool devices to sell stuff. I've done a lot of really crazy things to sell stuff. And I've taken all those lessons and I'm giving them to you. Now, if you're wondering, what is this book like? Well, it's kind of like a combination of, it's like if the four hour work week and breakthrough advertising, which is one of the best copywriting books ever by Eugene Schwartz, uh, and The Art of War, which is basically just a bunch of rules that Sun Tzu learned about war. Um, and then this really, really weird book called Path Notes of an American Ninja Master, one of the weirdest books ever, but some of the best things I've ever learned in my life come from this book. So if all these books just sort of like, you know, shagged each other and came out with a sort of a byproduct child of that, you would end up with this. I talk about things like how time and money are not related. I talk about which line of any sales message is the most important line. Uh, I tell you about my first ever sale when I sold my mum when I was three. I, I did not, <laughs> that sounded weird. I did not sell my mother. Um, I sold her an idea when I was very young. I did not sell my mother. I'm not involved in human trafficking. Um, I talk about my first ever lemonade stand and how that shaped so much of my life. I talk about how I made $50 an hour when I was 12 years old, stringing tennis rackets. I literally got paid to watch TV. Um, I go through all of this and it's not about me. That's the thing. This book is not about me. The stories are technically about me. But whenever I'm telling a story, you're going to be relating it back to yourself, taking all the lessons and seeing how you can apply it in your life. So while it seems like a very ego driven book, I mean, it's got a picture of me on the cover staring at you, my hair blowing in the wind, and it's a bunch of stories about myself. It's really about you. And that's another piece I want to say is this book is not a bestseller. Okay, I have no interest in making it a bestseller. These days, Every Tom, Dick, or Harry online has got a, they've got their Amazon bestseller, or even if it's a New York Times bestseller, they bought a tons of, you know, I have friends who've done this. They buy a ton of copies of their own books to spike it up. They game the algorithm. They get it ranked number one on Amazon. And they're like, hey, look at my, you know, this is my number one bestselling Amazon book. Uh, you know, and it's a book about sales, but if you look, it's like ranked number one for the category of underwater basket weaving or something outrageous. But they get to say it's a number one bestseller. I don't care about this being a bestseller. I don't even think it can be a bestseller because I'm only selling it on my site right now. Um, well, for free, if you want to call that selling. But the reality is, 
I don't care about it being a bestseller. I want to make you a bestseller. That's super cheesy, but I really mean it. The point of this book is not for me. I didn't write this for myself in order to feel special or to be able to hold a book. Although I will say my parents finally understand that what I do is real, even though they've seen where I live and how much money I make and these things. I feel like the first time they've been like, oh, you're, you're a real person is now that I've written an actual book. But the book isn't about me. It's about helping you sell more stuff. Whether you're a salesperson, whether you do high ticket sales over the phone, if you're a consultant, a marketer, if you build funnels. I have one of, just one of the funnels that I lay out in here is one that we spent fifteen to $20,000 a day on Google Display Ads with. Um, I show you how I went from a $7 book all the way to making a $500 sale in the same funnel. That alone will easily pay for your shipping that you pay to get this book. Um, but I outline all sorts of different stuff in here and it's all meant to help you if you're a marketer, consultant, copywriter, salesperson, whatever it is, even if you're not, even if you just want to see how salespeople operate and learn the really important stuff that they do, that's in here. What is a persuasion hitman? I'll finish with that. I'll tell you that. Uh, and, I, and I put it on here. Really, a persuasion hitman is an idea I created for myself because when I was considered a copywriter, I was boxed into this idea of what a copywriter is. I had to charge the amount of money a copywriter charged. I had to work as much as a copywriter did. And one of the big things that I've been known for in this little online marketing, you know, make money online type of world thing is how little I work and how much I make from that. And that really comes down to leverage and understanding how to make this switch from wherever you are to being more of a persuasion hitman or hit woman or hit person, whatever gender pronoun you would like to use. Uh, but I think you'll find it rather entertaining either way. I actually wrote this book, by the way. I didn't do one of those interview things where I dictate some stuff to a random person and then they attempt to turn my spoken word into some absolutely averagely crafted book. I really sat down, I wrote this all myself. I am a writer. It's kind of my skill. So it's pretty good. It's pretty entertaining. I think it's good. Of course, I wrote it. I would hope I think it's good. That'd be kind of sad if I didn't like it. But either way, grab your copy right now. I don't know how long this first batch will be available. Um, but I think you should do it. And then I want you to actually read it. That's the other thing. Read the book. So many people buy books and they don't read them. I'm going to send you something in your package that I think will help you um, decide to read this book. Um, but I don't want to give it away. So once you order the book, you'll see. And last thing is uh, audiobook. Recorded an audiobook version because, let's be real, a lot of people like audio these days. They want to be, you know, getting swole at the gym. They want to be running. They want to be driving their car or whatever and listen to the book. And I've been told that I have a, a, a nice voice to listen to via headphones. So when I actually read the book, I read it in a slightly different, deeper, nicer voice, sort of like Maximus Decimus Meridius from Gladiator or uh, maybe Mike Rowe, who has the best voice for reading stuff. Um, he's a guy from Dirty Jobs. So if you want the audiobook version, you can get that on the next page as well. Um, most people do that because so many people love audio. Also, you won't get this book until you actually receive it in the mail. There's no instant digital download, so the audiobook is the way to get it sent to you uh, right away and start listening to the book immediately. That's all I got. Go get it. All right, killed it. Good job, Ian. Great video.